In my short time in Washington, I've seen firsthand how the system is broken. A small group of failed voices who think they know everything and understand everyone want to tell everybody else how to live and what to do and how to think. But you aren't going to let other people tell you what you believe, especially when you know that you're right. You must go forth into the world and turn your hopes and dreams into action. America has always been the land of dreams because America is a nation of true believers. When the pilgrims landed at Plymouth, they prayed. When the founders wrote the Declaration of, of Independence, they invoked our Creator four times. Because in America, we don't worship government, we worship God. Remember this, nothing worth doing ever, ever, ever came easy. Following your convictions means you must be willing to face criticism from those who lack the same courage to do what is right, and they know what is right but they don't have the courage to take it and to do it. The more people tell you it's not possible, that it can't be done, the more you should be absolutely determined to prove them wrong. Treat the word impossible as nothing more than motivation. Relish the opportunity to be an outsider, Embrace that label. Being an outsider is fine. Embrace the label. Because it's the outsiders who change the world and who make a real and lasting difference. I've seen so many brilliant people. They gave up in life. They were totally brilliant. They were top of their class. They were the best students. They were the best of everything. They gave up. I've seen others who really didn't have that talent or that ability, and they're among the most successful people today in the world because they never quit and they never gave up. So just remember that. Never stop fighting for what you believe in and for the people who care about you. Carry yourself with dignity and pride. Demand the best from yourself and be totally unafraid to challenge entrenched interests and failed power structure. How much of success is seeing yourself as victorious? You have to see yourself. You have to really believe in yourself. And sometimes it's hard. You know, you've had failures, you've had weaknesses, you've had other things. You have to see yourself as a one-man band. Don't rely too much on other people because they'll let you down. You have to see yourself as victorious. And to be a winner, you have to think like a winner. If you don't think like a winner, it's just never going to happen. So to every parent who dreams for their child, and every child who dreams for their future, I say these words to you tonight. I am with you, I will fight for you, and I will win for you. My pledge reads, I'm with you, the American people. I am your voice. To all Americans tonight, in all of our cities, and in all of our towns, I make this promise. We will make America proud again. We will make America safe again. And we will make America great again. God bless you. Look at that, the economy growing at a record 33.8%.
point one percent. These numbers are absolutely remarkable. Latinos and women saw the biggest decreases in unemployment rate. Remember, all of the people telling you you can't have the country you want are the same people that wouldn't stand. I mean, they said Trump doesn't have a chance of being here tonight. Not a chance. The same people. Oh, we love defeating those people. No way, don't we love them? I used to say, and in fact, I think I said in my first book that, and maybe this was foolish, but I, I really meant it, that someday I'd like to maybe lose everything for a period of time to see who's loyal and who's not loyal. And I frankly, I found out a lot of Did things. Did you find out who's loyal and no, not loyal? I tell you what, and you can't guess it. You can't predict it. You think certain people would be loyal no matter what, and it turns out that they're not, and you just, you just can't predict it. It's very difficult.